Yo, what's up guys? So we did just get a pretty insane update, all right, on All-Star Tower Defense. You may be like, yo, it's, just, it's not that big of an update, but guess what, guys? It's big for a lot of players because take a look at this, guys. The first ever damage task complete reset. So everybody's starting from the bottom. So uh, let me know, guys, how much do you get for maxing out your new damage task? Please, somebody let me know. It's like 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 gems. Yo, let me know, guys. Or is it an infinite task now? Somebody let me know. Also, guys, I'm going to go through everything else new in the update quick. Um, and then I will um, uh, show you guys the new update code. All right. So uh, first up, guys, that's important. Also, they did add, add the autoplay feature. So uh, you can autoplay on easy story modes. All right. They added a new Stardust banner, if you guys even care about them. So uh, we got Mob and Griffith back in the banner, if you guys want them. Griffith is meta. Um, Vegeta is also in there, too. So this is actually one, probably the best Stardust banner ever. Um, uh, in the game. No other banner that I know of has had three seven stars. Yeah, usually there's a six star in there. Um, let me see what else is. There's also now a new Evo as well. I haven't checked out yet. I don't have, unfortunately. Because I need to get Demon Hunter or whatever. I don't know why I don't have don't have um, a Demon Fighter 3. I thought I would have him, but I don't. But uh, his stats look pretty good. It's called Spirit Detective Mizuko. Alright, that looks pretty sick. All right. Also, guys, you can now get um, a new ombre. So uh, you can get this ombre in gauntlet mode. It's female ombre called Ombra, or basically female Sid. All right. Um, uh, four times EXP event. If you guys can see that down below, it's pretty sick. Um, let me see what else we got here, guys. A new blessing on Light Child. Pretty cool. All right. Fixed a bunch of blessings and um, added added a new elemental infinite mode, which is pretty cool. And Okay, yeah, fixed a bunch of random bugs as well, which is pretty sick. And fixed a few stats. So Eternal Alchemist stats are now fixed. So uh, we might go check out the new buff on Eternal Alchemist. Honestly, those stats look pretty good. But uh, it looks like Eternal Alchemist no longer does sunburn. So uh, that is a bit unfortunate. All right, now let's go show you guys the new code. All right, now before you guys use this code, uh, make sure you guys don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Um, because we are so close to 500k. Um, and we get, when we get to 500k, we're dropping the new code unit. All right, um, uh, right now, all right, we were thinking about Kana, but um, uh, I was wondering what you guys thought of Whole Horse. I was talking to my bro boy, Cronito, and um, uh, he was thinking Whole Horse, we had pretty sick code unit. So let me know, guys, what do you think about Whole Horse as a code unit? Uh, do you guys think it'd be hype, or do you think he's not popular enough? All right, I would love your opinions on that. Okay, guys, here is the brand new code. Remember to subscribe to me as well. And we'll get it popping. All right. Here we go. So the new code is new update code. All right. 150 starters, guys. That's pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie. All right. That's going to be enough to hopefully get you a lucky seven star if you have a little bit of RNG on that new banner. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to use star code BLAM and peace.